This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is not a test. A nuclear missile is headed toward the United States. It'll be the largest invasion since World War II. It would change the world. After weeks of intense negotiations between the West and Putin over Ukraine, both sides are deadlocked and the world is increasingly afraid of World War III breaking out and the risks of it going nuclear. Well, the truth is you've been lied to by the media about Putin's true modus operandi. In this series, we're going behind enemy lines and pull back Putin's cloak of deception to examine the facts to get to the real truth. The BS narratives being regurgitated daily by naive Western media make it seem like Putin is merely trying to resurrect the evil Soviet empire under the rather sentimental pretext of reuniting big brother Russia with his little sister Ukraine. Putin is adamant that he has no intention of attacking Ukraine. Rather, he's merely seeking to secure Russia's borders. Well, in reality, that's Putin's wild goose chase hybrid warfare narrative. As Putin's feared arch nemesis Alexei Navalny puts it, the West has again naively bought into his con, hook, line, and sinker. Well, thanks to Navalny, the buck stops here. After watching this video series, your eyes will be wide open. Welcome to the Russia-Ukraine Conflict Explained. No BS. Part 1. Okay, let's get started. Now you're going to want to watch this video to the very end right now if, one, you're tired of seeing the watered down BS Western media narrative that every news video is trying to sell us right now. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And if you want to get the inside scoop from a non-biased Western insider that's been living and running a company in Ukraine for five years, then you have come to the right place. If two, you're worried about the conflict because either you have a loved one in Ukraine or maybe you're one of the 60,000 plus expats living in Ukraine and you're wondering if it's safe to return home to Ukraine right now. If three, you have any assets inside the territory of Ukraine, such as bank account deposits or maybe real estate. And if you're wondering if your assets are in jeopardy now, and if so, what can you do about it? How could you mitigate your risks? If four, you want to know what Ukrainian people really think about this crisis and the general mood in Ukraine right now. Five, if you want to hear the Russian and Ukrainian perspective of this conflict as reported by credible, inside, private, non-media sources, this is key, that are reporting the truth despite the near inevitable prosecution. Tens of thousands of Russians took to the streets, sparked by the imprisonment of one man. An anger about social injustice, political repression, and staggering corruption at the heart of the Kremlin. Since then, the repression has escalated as Putin seeks to silence all dissent. But the elections were rigged. Putin's united Russia won, retaining a two-thirds majority in parliament, big enough to enable Putin to change the Russian constitution. And it wouldn't be the first time. In 2020, he pushed through amendments that will allow him to remain in office for at least another 16 years. As the 2024 presidential election approaches, Putin has a personal vested interest in ensuring the opposition cannot compete. Putin is not in the position to leave office anymore. His power, his money, his life are all tied together in that office in the Kremlin. Uh, if he were to lose power, the chances of him retiring peacefully are very, very slim. The chances of his cronies retaining their ill-gotten wealth is close to zero. Russia doesn't have an independent legal system. The legal system is one of the belts of uh, political power in Russia. Russia doesn't have the rule of law. It has the law of the ruler. In the aftermath of the January protests, more than 11,000 people were arrested and 90 criminal cases were launched. If six, you want to find out the recent game-changing development that the media seems to be keeping rather hush-hush right now. Seven. If war does break out, who is the most likely to pull the trigger first? And how and where will they attack? And this one, this one will surprise you. Hi, my name is Joe Ricards, and I'm a family man. I'm happily married to a beautiful Ukrainian wife. We have two incredible uh, daughters, four and nine. And I just want to share with you my, my why. Why am I shooting you this video here and now? 
I am keeping abreast very closely on mainstream media. But because I live here, I guess I got more of an acutely uh, fine-tuned BS sniffer. You know, I can see that they're just scratching the surface. And not only that, then I see, okay, well, that's not really what's going on. Why, why is mainstream just every video talking about the same BS? So what did I do? I decided that for my family's sake, I need to take the bull by the horns to protect my family and go deep. So I decided to tap into my political connections here. And if you've been following me for a long time, you'll know that I have connections, well, let's say that are invited to Zelensky's birthday party. And guess what? After I dug deep and what my connections told me, you know, it was the sheer magnitude of what I uncovered. That they, they helped me see the light of what's really going on that I couldn't help but to share it with you, with the world. And a lot of you guys are asking me this big question and I haven't answered you because I haven't known what to say. And what you're asking me is, Joe, I want to come to Ukraine. I either have you know, a girlfriend here, a wife here, a family here, uh, whatever. Uh, I live here maybe for you expats. Is it safe to come? So this is how I feel is the only and the best way I can respond. I can share with you what myself and our family is doing. If and when we decide to pick up and flee Ukraine, you won't be the first to know, but you will, I will let you know very quickly thereafter. Okay, fair enough. Now, before we unlock Pandora's box and expose the lies you're being fed, let's address the threat of World War III that we opened with. It'll be the largest invasion since World War II. It would change the world. Well, it's almost 40 years since Reagan and Gorbachev ended the Cold War between USA and Russia. Yet it seems we don't learn very easily as the human race because we're back at it again, amassing nukes at an ever alarming pace with the US leading the pack with a shocking $1.2 trillion nuclear weapons budget. And as a result, the risk of nuclear conflict erupting between the United States, Russia, China, and North Korea is become dangerously high. The risk of war in the OEC area is now greater than ever before in the last 30 years. In fact, right now, intelligence shows that Russia is moving more heavy artillery and equipment from Siberia to Ukraine's borders and moving Russian troops and nukes into Belarus. So the Russian troop count is now a whopping 125,000 strong. All ominous signs a Russian invasion on Ukraine is imminent and coming soon. But the deeper worry, frankly, is that, you know, since America and most of the EU countries are now stepping up to support NATO and Ukraine, everyone is asking, could this escalate to nuclear war? Of course, all we can do is pray for Ukraine, its people, and well, pray for all of us right now. Take a look at the sneak peek of a beautiful Ukrainian prayer that's sweeping across Ukraine this week. Isn't that an incredibly beautiful prayer? I'm going to play the full prayer at the end of this video and ask that you hold up Ukraine in prayer right now. Next, okay, let's cut through Putin's well-disguised hybrid warfare cloak of deception to better understand what's he really up to. Let's go back to the basics and take a look at this conflict, you know, holistically from a 30,000 foot type view. Let's examine the who, the what, the where, the why and the how of it all, shall we? The who. Who are the real players involved in this conflict? The what. What does Putin really want? The where. This seems like an obvious answer, but it might shock you. Then there's, of course, the why. Why? That's the imperative question. Why is Putin really doing this? What's his real MO? And finally, the how. How is Putin planning to get what he wants, like he did before and his predecessors before him? We're going to dive deep into that. Okay, first, the why. Let's uncover Putin's real why. And by uncovering his big lie and looking at 
what he's up to. This will help us uncover his real M.O., which will blow the lid off this whole thing and completely open your eyes. So let's pull back the iron curtain and expose how they get away with such big lies in Russia. Why we naively buy into it, hook, line, and sinker, every time. So how can you brainwash people into believing whatever you want? Well, Russia has it down to a science. You see, in Soviet times, Moscow journalism students studied spats, or combat propaganda, the art of sowing discord into the enemy's ranks. Spats propaganda is studied even in today's Russia. Here are some of its secrets. Repeat at nauseam, invented by Nazi propaganda in chief, Dr. Goebbels. The tactic of repeating works best when you have a big lie. The bigger the lie, the greater the brainwashing effect. During the Cold War, the USSR sold the world a big lie that America fabricated AIDS as a weapon, can you believe it? Russia's big lie in 2014 during the Maidan revolution and ensuing war with Russian-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine was that of US-backed Ukrainian Nazis <laughs> that they're trying to commit ethnic genocide against Russians in eastern Ukraine. Russian TV actually aired fake interviews with actors who corroborate the big lie and vilify the Ukrainian army. Suggestion aims to influence the subconscious mind. It's like hypnosis. It works the best with those who are afraid or depressed. It creates a highly emotional state in its victims. It employs figures of authority like glorified experts that nobody's ever heard about. So what's Putin's big lie in today's kerfuffle with Ukraine? Well, Putin would have you believe that he's a rather sentimental man and he just wants to go back to the USS, back to the USSR days again, right? To relive the glory days. He wants to relive the good old days of the former Soviet Union and build it back up to the superpower it once was. Putin wants you to believe it's all about Russia's security. He just wants to be allowed to simply secure Russia's borders by not allowing NATO to expand westward and actually revert back to the borders of 1997. Let me ask you, are you buying it? What do you think Putin's true MO is? Please leave your comment below. In our upcoming episodes of Russian-Ukrainian Conflict Explained No BS, we're going to reveal political intel from the inside, which will open up your eyes as to what Putin's real motives are. And you'll finally get clear answers on what's been weighing heavily on all our minds. You'll discover 1. Putin's hybrid warfare lies and the truth about what he really wants but isn't telling us. You'll discover 2. A high-level best guess as to when you might want to seriously consider leaving Ukraine and when it's likely going to be safe to return. You'll discover three. If your assets in Ukraine are in jeopardy and how to protect them. You'll discover four. If Ukrainian people are afraid and what they think. You'll discover five. What high level inside Ukrainian government sources have uncovered. You'll discover six. What rather hush hush move the US has up its sleeve that was likely masterminded by Putin's number one enemy, Alex Navalny, and why it likely has the best chance to peacefully end this conflict. You'll discover seven. If, as Biden says, war is imminent, and if so, when is Russia likely to invade Ukraine? Now make sure you subscribe and smash that bell so you don't miss out on our continued inside coverage of the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, no BS. Meanwhile, please join us by lifting up Ukraine in prayer. Господи, помилуй грішних, змилися над нами і прости. Молимо тебе все вишні і від ворога нас захисти. Бо без тебе ми безсилі, Господи, змінився навкруги. Дай спасіння.
ladies as it takes until you meet the one that exactly what you can win right now just comment subscribe and share the winner will be announced live right here <laughs>